So what I'm going to do is, is introduce a concept, I'm going to introduce it in ways, I'm going to see if you can understand it before I explain it. So you're going to write it up on the board with me. So to find our instantaneous rate of change. Now please don't have the, the pleasure of having a mathematical equation in the form of fx, but we do. So can you please title those first principles? Another spelling test. <laughs> no, it's Wait, it's the the answer. Answer. Oh, you passed the spelling test, well done. Pricicles. First pricicles. Pricicles. I'm thinking about what I'm writing next, yeah, not what I'm writing now. Yeah, it's Alright, so define. Now, we can actually represent that. So, you know, this form that I've been giving us fx to show that we're finding the instantaneous rate of change, we put this little funky dash in. So, that tells us we're deriving. Oh, I won't be deriving because it's not a word we've been using. That tells us we're using an instantaneous. I hate spelling this word. Rate of change. Oh, whatever. Instantaneous rate of change. So that's what that dash means, okay? Now, as I said before, it's going to equal, and I should put limp, just ignore this first part. Just ignore the first part for now. fx minus fx plus h divided by x minus x plus h. Does that say limb? Limb, yeah. Limb. It is a limit. It is a limit. Okay. Now, I remember seeing this when I was in year 11 and loving every minute of it. Said, no, you're 11 kid ever. Okay, but I'm going to try my best to explain this as well as I can. Can someone have a go at telling me what they think this equation means? So the instantaneous rate of change is equal to... Sarah, unfortunately you moved. I put my hand back down there. Yeah, what do you think it means? What's FX mean? Yes. FX is your Yep, so whatever my function is, so whatever my value happens to be yes. at that point in time. And the limb h means that, it either means that it should be zero in this instance? Yep, so h is getting so close, it's not exactly it's zero, so but it's zero. so, so close to zero, yep. Like sort of, it's, it's sort of like dividing by, you can divide by another very close to zero, but not zero. So Sarah's saying x, our function, minus x, plus some really, really small number. Divided by Same. x minus x plus some really, really small number. Yes? No, I never. <laughs> I was going to say it looks like the gradient formula. It is the gradient formula. It is the gradient formula. Ready? That's good at observation. This is y2. This is y1. This is x2. And this is x1. It is the gradient formula, which is our average rate of change. So that is our average rate of change, and all we're saying is I want the difference between my current point and some point really, really, really close to it. Are we cool with that? Now I'm going to show you how we use this. Get yeah, right that down. Yeah. So I'm going to try using our equation from before. I'm going to try using our equation from before. So now I have fx was what? What was fx before? x squared plus? So that's my fx. Are we happy with that? fx plus h. Anytime I see x, what should I replace it with? 
Sure. X plus h. So I've got now x plus h squared plus 6. Wait, 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 get yeah. that. I'm just, that's fx. Yeah. And fx plus h is. Hi, yeah. I'm just replace that. Now I'm going to expand that a little bit further. So how do I expand those brackets? x plus h, x plus h. Yes, so the x squared plus. 2x h. Plus. Uh, I can't. 8 squared plus 6. Are we good with that? Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. So I've got fx and fx plus h. So what I'm going to do now is sub this back into my original formula. So I'm going to replace fx with this and we're going to replace fx plus h with this. I'll do that over. I want to do it pretty close so I don't lose it. I'll do it over here. So I've got. I'm boring you over here. F dash x equals, instead of x, fx, I write x squared plus 6 minus x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 6 over x plus, no, x minus, x plus h. Mm -hmm. Now remember the negative's got to go into all those terms. So what I really have is x squared plus 6 minus x squared I will explain this 